Five years ago, Kiona Ara was 18 years old. She was looking forward to graduating from high school and had plans to join the Belize Defense Force. But in March 2017, the teenager was callously murdered and set on fire. Police's investigation back then was swift, and two men were arrested and charged. Shailen Santos and Jamie Patnett were fingered for the gruesome killing. But on February 23, the men were set free with a not guilty verdict. Kiona's mother is heartbroken, alleging that evidence had gone missing and justice was not duly served. I was in the courtroom and I heard the new statement is bring, in, being brought forward. My statement, sorry, went missing. Um, my daughter's statement went missing. Like everything is going missing. So I know from the beginning that these, this case is not going to sit right. So I knew there and then my gut is telling me that something went wrong in that courtroom because then if you if you want to win a case you have to have all the evidence intact and they didn't have it because the neg the negligent um, gents that they provide they misplaced the evidence they lost it they stole it i would say i don't know where they went so i knew something went wrong and i am not satisfied with this you wake up like to me honestly like i wake up in the morning and like Kiona room was next to mine. And I would wish I could just see her back in her room. I wish I never heard she get killed in this manner because she wasn't sick. She wasn't a sickly child. She wasn't, she was healthy one. And I wish I could sit on the barn and see that big smile come running through my yard from school in the evening. But then you can only wish. You it it's hard for you as a mother to say, like, I will let go because you cannot let go. It's something you keep seeing in your head. Then the one that stood out in your head is like the judge saying, and Mr. Shalon Santos and Jimmy Patnick, the court has found you not guilty. And when you look when they look wrong and they see you in the courtroom, they smile. 21 days later, and Shirley Mai is begging for an appeal. The problem is that today, the window for the appeal closes, but the mother is asking for help from the DPP's office and the legal services sector. I am trying to appeal this case, and I hope for the best, because I am not satisfied. Kiona was my daughter, and they are telling me now that five years is the most the value for my daughter. I've been Telling them that I need to appeal this case. I've been to the DPP office. I've been back to the court, Supreme Court. I've been back to the DPP office and they tell me um, she's not there. Um, I need to come in and see her. I said, when can I find her? Oh, she's in Belize City. I went where to Belize City and I still can't meet up with her. And I really need to appeal this case. Have you spoken to the police commissioner or anybody from the police, any senior member? I, cannot, of the I went, I make several attempts to see him. I cannot see him. I make several calls. I make several texts. Nobody called me from the police department. Nobody answered my call. So I like me against the world right now. A lot of things been bubbling in my head. I just... I just need the, the help of the general public. Resources. Yeah. I just need the help because then as a mother, a single mother, you only could come up with ideas, but you know you need you need the support. Kiona Ara's body was found by the security guard on duty near the dump in Balmopan where her body was set on fire. The guard said that while he was doing his hourly patrol, he saw smoke, and shortly after, he saw a van leave the area. In court, however, he said he saw a car and not a van. Ara's body was burnt beyond recognition, forcing police to release pictures of her tattoos so that someone in the public could identify the body. Love News spoke with attorney Dickie Bradley, who represented one of the accused in the trial. 
According to Bradley, there were several contradictions in the statements presented in court and that the only person who claimed she heard one of the accused speak of the murder had later given a second statement when a police officer showed up at her house telling her that the first signed statement was misplaced. Bradley added that in his professional opinion, there are no grounds for a successful appeal and that the judge had bent over backward to allow the prosecution to present every possible detail and evidence they had. He advises, however, that the mother should request an investigation on how the evidence and statements were handled internally, which was significant in the trial's outcome. Reporting for Love News, I am Renee Trujillo.